At last, it looked as if the rainy fortunes had turned around, but a cruel blow was lying in wait as the Grand Prix series reached the German Grand Prix. He was chasing Dewan, he was quite a bit quicker than everybody in qualifying again, and I thought we, you know, I thought we was actually going to be a lot closer than we were after Barcelona. So, you know, I was back into that mode to where I was desperate and I wanted to to do well and kind of like going against everything that I've always done before. But I needed to catch up and. Uh, you know, he was flying around there and I was trying to hang with him and I was probably riding, I know I was riding way over my head and, uh, you know, the, we just weren't capable of going that fast at that time and, and the thing uh, threw me off and uh, ran over me and then uh, just kind of pretty stiff after that, that crash, it kind of beat me up. It was fairly predictable because we've been having that trouble with the tires. Um, it's not a traction problem, it's, it's actually too much traction and, and uh, he just, you know, switching from tires to tires, you know, uh, one product to the next every year makes it hard. You know, you're always uh, uh, a race or two behind in the bike setup, tire setup. So, you know, we were just behind. We weren't ready to race doing and Wayne was pushing it to try to race doing, to try to close that two second uh, time difference in practice and um, the tires just, and the bike wasn't giving him the feedback that he needed and he was pushing it, the, pushing it to try to do that and uh, that put us way behind. It was a very stiff and badly shaken world champion that made his way back to the pits after insisting that he start the race. Team medic is Dean Miller and it's his job to look after the physical well-being of the riders. So just what shape was his patient in? Oh, physically a wreck. I mean, we, the crash was so hard. The uh, shoulders, the arms, the hand, of course, had a cracked bone, the foot had a cracked bone, and the rest of his body was very bruised. I think that uh, it takes about 24 hours for those things to really show up and over the night time he really you know, showed the fatigue. But in his attitude mentally, as strong as he is, he was going to go race, you know, hell or high water again and that was his attitude and he just wasn't up to, up to par that day, he wasn't fit.